Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Um, today is kind of a special day. I am doing, um, I had shot the video for the Jean Grey Phoenix maquette, and um, I wanted to put a little more information um, at the end of the video. Um, I actually want to give kudos to the incredible store that I got it from. So I'm going to wind up going through all that. So I thought I would do it. I pre-recorded the unboxing. So we're going to go through the complete unboxing and everything right now. I'm going to show you the video. You get to see it as we remove it from the box piece by piece, how everything gets assembled and then what it'll look like when it's done. And then we will chat. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and bring this up and you guys can watch the video. Well, everybody, the time is here. It is time to do the unboxing of the Phoenix and June Gray maquette statue from Sideshow. Now, if you checked out my uh, uh, quick flip of this one, we got to show you the box. Um, we're actually going to pull it out of the box and show you. This is 44.4 pounds, 26 inches tall when she's all put together. I had to rearrange my shelving unit just to try and fit this one in. This is a big, big boy. So you can see the box. It's nice. It actually has an outer box. And um, we're going to pop this one open. Um, you're going to see it's really well packaged. Uh, Sideshow did a great job. This one even has Velcro. So anyway, let's just pull this out of the box and you can take a look at it in its next stage. All right, the outer box is off. Now this is something new that I hadn't seen in any of the other ones. This one, it actually is labeled top. It says Sideshow. This has two great big huge Velcro straps to keep this together. There's three different sections. There's the top, a middle, and a bottom. So this has, like I said, big Velcro pieces that'll come off. The nice thing is this keeps it together during shipping. I think this is a brilliant idea. Obviously, Sideshow's been doing this for quite some time. I'm gonna pull the straps out. So this little this one is limited to 1,000 pieces. We're going to pull the top off. Now we can take a look at some of the cool different pieces that are going to be in here: the chest, the arm, and as we pull them out, we'll be able to take a look. I'm going to slide it because the base is in the metal section. Each piece has a very specific uh, slot that it goes into, and uh, this is what keeps everything really nice. They've got extra car or, uh, cardboard styrofoam in it. The base on this thing is absolutely massive. And I know we're out of the 44 pounds, what the bulk of it is. It's right here. The only thing you really have to worry about when you're shipping on something are these little flash points on the end, making sure that none of them are cracked. But this looked like it was packaged really well. So check that base out. That is one really really heavy base. So now this will be really fun to figure out how everything goes together. I can see the flames are on the sides. Now they've done a really good job over the years with the magnets so I don't suspect this will be any different. And it's got a magnetic piece so it clips right in. Yeah, I can figure out where all these pieces go. Here is the 90s Jean Grey body. The 
paint looks good on this piece. It's got a spot right in there. And clips right into place. Fit in really nice. And then you can get in and look at the details. to make sure because I don't think this one here to bury it. Sometimes they have enough the heads. All I know is look at that. Look, the magnets just pull right in. They are fairly sturdy right in there. We do need she's got a sash. So the sash looks like it will clip right in and see they design it where it's not just like a square you can't put it in upside down so it's an oblong piece so you can only put it in one way and that went in really nice guys these are expensive statues you can go to the sideshow um, site and do it um, 980 dollars for the price of it um, and of course the shipping is pretty good. Now we're going to do the flames. These pieces also very well done. The flames will come out and these should lock right into place. Those magnets, oh, you can feel it just lock in. That is fantastic. And then check out this one. Looks like all the flame. So you'll notice. You can see when they lock in, there's two magnets, a piece that goes in, and a stabilizer right there. That is a lot, a lot of magnet to keep everything in place. And it locks right into place. And then lastly, the Phoenix head. Also has its little magnet. Everything is magnetized on this. And the Phoenix head goes on backwards. So let me move the styrofoam. And as you walk along, that is the completed piece. Guys, it doesn't take very long to set up. The packing on this was absolutely fantastic. Jean Grey 
with the Phoenix. Obviously, some of my favorite incarnations. It's going to go very well into it. Like I said, this is probably the most expensive statue that I bought from them, you know, because shipping is probably 80, 100 bucks. But is it worth it? If you're a fan of the Phoenix, this is absolutely worth it. This looks like uh, just one of my favorite storylines of all time, and they captured it just fantastic. Like I said, at 44, almost 44 and a half pounds, this is the beast. You have to have a spot for it. But man, if I couldn't be more tickled pink. So now I'm going to see if we have room. Hopefully I got enough room. I had measured it out. So if the measurements are correct, it will fit in. And uh, well, let's see if it fits into my display. So the funny thing was um, I did, I measured them uh, pretty accurately, I, I will say. And uh, when all was said and done, um, I did have to do a little bit of, uh, of rearranging. Um, so I'm going to show you some of the finished uh, pictures of it in my uh, display. And uh, let's just pop it up. So this is what, uh, what it looks like with the regular lights on. I'll kind of zoom in. This was the original one where it's spot I took my Dark Phoenix. I've got that one, of course, with, uh, with the Dark Phoenix and the regular Phoenix in front of a John Harrison uh, painting, and uh, which he did a great job on. And then this went in, and I, had, I measured it really well. I had just enough room. I was able to put the new statue in, of course. That's the uh, Andy Smith cover for Phoenix that he did, and there's a Bud Root cover that we did. It, it turned out really nice. Um, I, I installed some uh, lights behind it to, to give it, and I'll show you, and you can change the, uh, um, the colors on it. And then my, my very original 90s uh, uh, Jean Grey statue was down below with a couple, a couple of the uh, Madeline Pryors. But, you know, this this turned out big. It is super heavy. I had to go in and kind of reinforce uh, the structure a little bit uh, on that one. So I was a little worried. You can see as I zoomed in a little bit more. Now, um, I went and changed some of the lightings on it so that I'll let you guys be able to see what it looks like. Because, um, of course, if it's Phoenix and Dark Phoenix, that's it's got some good light. So uh, I did it. So you can kind of see it with the red lights and with the lighting behind it, because they're translucent, you can actually see some of the flames um, basically come to life. I, I think it turned out uh, uh, pretty nice. Uh, and then you can see it in its, uh, in its glory right there. It is a beautiful piece. Um, I tried it with the white, the blue, the green lighting, but you know, with something like that, I, I'll probably display it most of the time in the in the red. But like I said, this it's it's definitely the largest at 44 and a half pounds. Um, you know, 26 inches. I did have to lower the shelf, reinforce it, but man, it was uh as you can see, you guys definitely leave below. Let me know what your thoughts are. I, I think it was just uh, they hit a home run with it. I did have to move some of my statues, you know, my my smaller ones um, out and about. So that wound up good, being great. So anyway, I am happy. Uh, I wanted you guys. It's a long video, but for those of you who haven't really jumped into it i really wanted you guys to to see what kind of quality sideshow puts in these premium prestige statues and stuff um i am also going to do a quick shout out here to uh needless toys and collectibles they're up in lincolnton north carolina um these are tracy owns the store tracy eisenhower he's the one who pre-ordered it for me and everything like that he's the one who told me it was coming out knew i would get it so hats off 
These guys have a lot of great, great stuff in their shop. They do the sideshow. They do the Mythic Legions. They do all the, the newer toys. They do the classic toys if you're Transformers, G.I. Joe. So I am giving them a bit of a, a plug just because they are great guys. Jason owns a, they own a second shop. Um, anyway, Needless Toys and Collectibles. They have all the toy needs that, that you have. If you want to get into sideshows, you know, contact them. They definitely have their websites. I will leave uh, everything down below. Um, so anyway, I just wanted you guys to see it. Happy as pie. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, let me know if you also collect them and what your thoughts are. I think Sideshow gets better and better uh, with each of the releases. So with that being said, if you haven't already, make sure you guys um, join us and subscribe. Um, so we put off quick flips on comic books. I wind up doing, you know, unboxings like this. We do comic hauls from conventions. We do movie reviews. So the DNA show is a great place. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And Andy and I are in the middle of doing... Um, you know, our big project right now is Cordrath, The Reckoning. I'm writing it. Andy's uh, the artist on it. And uh, I'm going to close this out by just showing you guys our latest video on it. And uh, anyway, give us the thumbs up. I look forward to seeing you on our live shows, which our live streams are typically Wednesdays, where we usually have on an artist or a guest. Um, and it's great. Uh, great interaction with you guys. So anyway... Live long and prosper. Thank you, and we will talk to you all soon.